Okay, welcome back to the BSN channel. Uh, today, I'm gonna make some kelawelly, and uh, what we're gonna start off doing is we're gonna peel the plantain. Yeah, we're gonna cut it. Then we're gonna grind chili. We've got two types of chili here. We've got the Scotch bonnet pepper, and we've got some dry chilies here with the seeds still in it. In it. We're gonna grind this with the ginger. And that's, that's going to marinate the plantain. Then we're going to fry it in olive oil. And basically that's kelawilly. It's very easy to make. It's not hard. So yeah, we're going to peel the plantain. We're going to chop it up. And that's when we'll come back and show you. Okay, peace. Okay, we're making the marinade now. We've got the, the scotch bonnet, the dried peppers, and the ginger. We've got some Ghanaian ginger and also some British ginger. Can see the difference between how dark it is. Anyway, this is what's going to be used to marinate the chopped plantain. Here, yeah? as I said, it's very important that you don't use green plantain for this. Yeah, you gotta look for it. It's gotta be yellow and it's gotta be soft. What is it? It's called red plantain, but it's actually yellow. usually after after a meal it's like a dessert that plantain gives like a sweet taste and then and then you've got the contrast of it with the the chili and the ginger Now we're going to get spoon to turn over. You can use your finger for that little bit. And, uh, I have washed my hands, people. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I've been watching you. I know. <laughs> it's like a yeah, eagle. Yeah, so we get small spoon and okay. turn them. Yeah. Okay. If you know where, I'm wearing, if you know where, I'm wearing shorts, by the way. Just the name, really. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know that piece of information. You know what I mean? Like, wait, it's a dog. It's open. Yeah, it's open here. Yeah. Okay, so now we're marinating with it. This is going to be the base of the flavor. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know. English is not the easiest language. So you have to come back um, when the oil is ready. Okay, so basically. This is going to be used to get fried and we'll come back when the oil is ready. It's a very easy task, it's not that complicated. Therefore there's not a lot to say about it, you know. Mm. But it's very nice when, you know, you've eaten, you want something light. So anyway, peace, we'll, we'll be back. See this right here, yeah? This is what, this is what I look forward to every day. Saturday fufu. It's usually a Sunday fufu. But today is Saturday fufu. What soup is it? Is it lamb? Is it lamb lime soup? Lamb, yeah. And uh, rice milk. Rice shrimp. Yeah. We took some of the dry snail, we tried grinding it. Put it, put it dry back fish. In. Dry fish, yeah. mm. 
see this? Yeah, I can watch this all day. In crack crack. In crack crack. Telling you, this is all I was doing in Ghana. Just waiting for soup to finish. That's all I was doing. Seriously? I know. I'll get up, eat Kenke, then I'll rest for a little while. Then for lunch, I have a big fufu. <laughs> the biggest fufu at Heavy Do. Hey. Yeah, Heavy Do. You know, what, what's the name of the place? Kokom Lemley. It's, it's uh, a. Yeah, it is. Coco Lemley. Um, yeah. It's near uh, Kora Town. Yeah. It's, it's a good place, I'm telling you. If you're in Accra. You this is how you do it. This is what birthed the Ashanti tribe, the whole Akan tribe. Gonna put the soup on. Face is not on it. Okay. <laughs> but I've got the the whole view it's zoomed in. We got enough meat. That is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. We got enough. Yeah, that's that's the right so far. If anything, I'll come back for more. All right. I sound greedy, don't I? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that greedy. I'm just saying I've been waiting a long time for this. I've been very patient. Um, today's uh, soup is very, very chilly. <laughs> I don't know if... Um, well, I'm going to have to have a bottle of water beside me, yeah? Yeah, I get hanky. Meduku for your nose. Mm. Anyway, I'll give you as much as I can because. Uh, yeah, that's thank you. That is for just today. See this right here. This is what I look forward to. This is why. This is. This is why. It's my favorite food. I, uh, I can't even explain it. I mean, I talk about fufu so much, even my family gets bored of me. Say that again. This is all I eat. That's why when we go and visit Ghana and we eat something like fish and chips here, or we eat chicken and chips, I'm just thinking, really? I've come all the way to Ghana to eat chicken and chips. Chicken and chips in Ghana. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, when I go to Ghana, and I go a day without fufu, the day has not been complete. In fact, it wasn't even a day. A day without fufu is not a day. You and fufu, Mike. It's, it's not a day. Like, if, if I haven't had fufu, but I've eaten rice, I haven't eaten. It's a snack. Anyway, we're gonna leave it like this. Don't wanna make it too long. This is another one of the the fufu vlogs. That's what I'm gonna call it now. <laughs> anyway, peace. Uh, the plantain has been um, marinated, so we're just gonna put it in the oil for about 10, 15 minutes or something, and it should be. Should be done. Tense the water again. 
Anybody that take a little bit would have to jump over the ceiling. It's chilly, chilly. We use the African ginger, which is yeah. the hottest. The, strongest. the Ghana one. The one that Europeans has got is not the same. Right, so we're going to pour yeah. this. Is it ready? I'm going to put all of it in it. But it's not all that much. Yeah, it's not even a lot of much there. Yeah, I'll leave it a little bit. So it's just sort of... So it's not stuck together. It was stuck together. That should begin with. We needed to separate it there from cook. Uh, any distraction from the others. They will stick together eventually. And then we'll turn it every five minutes or something. Every two minutes. We we'll do two, three minutes. And then we turn it over. We need something like this. So how long would this, would this, uh... You wait till it brown a bit. I'm telling when it's browning from the side. And then that's when we turn it. It won't take long, the fire is higher. Alright. Well, we'll be back in about 10 minutes when this is done. Please. Okay. Keller Willy is done now. I know it looks burnt, but that's how you supposed that's, to look. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to look. It's look black, otherwise it's not done. Yellowish black. That's the way you want it. Right, this is a nice thing to have as a dessert. It's nice and sweet. It's it's light. light the lime is here. We always like to put some lime on it. Because eating a lot of things that contain oil, it's not really good for you. So we always sprinkle some lime on or lemon. Blend the oil. Yeah. Well, anyway, after we squeeze this, we're, we're gonna eat this. So I hope you liked it. Peace. <laughs>